In this video, I will show you how to upgrade Awingu to the next version. Uh, to do this, you have to uh, log in as always with an admin user, go to the system settings. And then um, if you have a valid license, so this will not work with, uh, with an unlicensed copy of Awingu. This will also not work with a license where the maintenance has been expired. But if you have like a subscription license or you have uh, a real trial license and not, not the built-in free users, or you have a perpetual license which is under maintenance. And whenever there is a new version of Awingu available, you will see that if you go to the uh, section Upgrade Versions of Awingu, it will show you all the uh, available versions of Awingu where you can upgrade through. So in my case, I'm currently on Awingu 501. Uh, Awingu 502 is, uh, is available. So if I would like to upgrade to that version, I just need to, uh, need to select it and then click on uh, Download and Upgrade. Awingu will ask me to confirm that uh, everything is uh, okay. And as soon as I have done that, the uh, upgrade will start. Uh, be careful, uh, upgrade can take uh, somewhere between 15 minutes and one hour. It depends on the, uh, on the upgrade, on the, on the speed of your hardware, on the speed of your database, on the speed of your disks. Um, the upgrade itself is done fully automatic. So once the update has finished, um, it will uh, become available again uh, for just uh, Awingo usage. Uh, also, if you have like a multi-node setup of Awingu, Awingu will take care of the upgrade of all your uh, nodes um, at the same time. Um, there are a few things to, to, to put really emphasis on. It's uh, really highly recommended to take a snapshot before you're upgrading. So in case something goes wrong, you can just roll back to your uh, latest snapshot. And also the upgrade itself can take a long time. So especially if you're upgrading, for example, to new operating systems, that can really take like 40, 50, maybe an hour uh, per appliance to uh, to finish. So please don't reboot during the uh, the upgrade. So as long as you see this, these spinners, it means that Awingo is doing something. Um, if there would be an error, it would be on the screen. Um, also take into account that most of the time when you're doing an upgrade, like the last step, uh, 11 of 11, or in this case 12 of uh, 12, uh, the orchestration can take a very long time. So uh, it's logic, uh, be patient, uh, don't reboot, um, and it can take a while. But the important thing is, this is just it. So once the, uh, the update has been started, it will update you to the, to the next version. Uh, also take into account that during the update, there will be service uh, interruption.